All right, it's time for Stump the Chump. Ooh, this week I spent a lot of time on this one. Did you? Yeah. So did I. I think you need a logo for Stump the Chump. We always have that. Yeah, Bling. but you need yeah. one as cool as a unicorn. Yeah. Mel's crazy. No, no, we don't. Anyways, <laughs> <gonna> all right. <laughs> so my questions are genius this week. I don't know how yours are. Ooh, yeah. way better. Yeah, really? You think so? They're always better. Okay, so <laughs> Stump the Chump. I have better we, uh, ideas. Stump the Chump's all about sleep tips and uh, sleep health, so we ask ourselves Things three questions. Sleep. Three questions, alternating, and we used to eat gross stuff, we need to eat gross stuff again, or bring something in that we don't like doing. Maybe we should get one of those shockers where it's like, we shock, we shock each other if we get the question wrong. <laughs> That's an idea, I'll look into that. All right, so what is your first question? I like the idea. Go for it. I have no comment on that idea. I am not cheating today. Those of you that wrote in that said I was A cheating buzzer. and looking down at her cards, I am not looking at her cards. Okay. What percentage of people say they're more excited to go to bed if they have fresh smelling sheets? A hundred percent because that's is it, me. Is it A, 25%? B, 78%, or C, 95%? 95%. No. B, For real? Only 78% of people say they sleep better in clean sheets. Oh, who doesn't sleep better in clean sheets? Oh, yeah, man. Know. Every Sunday night is my favorite night to go to bed because Sundays uh, are our sheet day. Got and oh, oh, I love it. Love so it. So you got that it. wrong. So I you got would it need wrong. to buzz. You'd be using I'd be good. Good. Okay. All right. <laughs> So, middle-aged or Oh, I have no sound effects this week. I'm off. See, Annie, no sound effects. Okay, middle-aged or older adults who sleep less than five hours were nearly three times more likely to have blank. Just can you say that one more time? Middle-aged or older adults who slept less than five hours were nearly three times more likely to have blank. And I want you to think of disease. Alzheimer's. Wrong. Diabetes. Oh, wow. In, yeah, insufficient sleep may lead to type 2 diabetes by disrupting the way the body processes glucose, glucose, slowing down the body's process breakdown by up to 40%. That's interesting because I always thought it was directly related to dietary stuff, but yeah, if that's... you're sleep deprived, sleep deprived. you yep. can also be at risk for type 2 diabetes. Yep. All right. I would also have to push the buzzer. buzzer. Okay. Do you feel it? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know how, have you ever woken up grinding your teeth? No. Or do you have to wear one of those things? No. Gretchen does though. Yeah. I have, I'm supposed to wear one of those things. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you grind your teeth at night, do you know how many pounds of pressure can be applied? and why it's so important to get that checked out and maybe get a guard if you're grinding your teeth at night. Well, How many it, pounds of pressure can you apply grinding your teeth? Well, it can wear out your teeth. I know that. Uh, pounds of pressure, no, I have no clue. What are you doing? <laughs> that. Um, yeah, pounds of pressure, I have no clue. What is it? 250 pounds. Wow, that's crazy. Pressure on your teeth, so it can really damage your teeth um, what does that what does that compare to like an alligator bite? Thousands probably. Yeah, that's per square cool. inch. That's like a parrot parrot's it's really bad. I don't yeah. know, but it's not good for your teeth. Uh -huh. It's bad bad news. It can wake up your partner. It's Yeah, it's a grinding uh, noise. It's uh, not good. Uh, yeah. uh, it's not yeah. good. Okay. Well, you would have shocked me again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. People who sleep less than six hours per night are much more likely to have a higher than average blank. People that sleep more less less than six hours. Oh, excuse me. Uh, that was on cue. People who sleep less than six hours per night are much more likely to have a higher than average blank. higher than average it's definitely not their iq 
Boom, boom. Shh. I don't know. Gosh, higher, higher than, than average. average. Don't tell me. Okay, tell me. <laughs> Body mass index. Oh, I was thinking about obesity. Yeah, yeah. But that's, so, yeah, yeah, wow. So if you sleep less than six hours per night, you are more likely to have a higher than average body mass index, which means that you're overweight, slightly overweight, or obese. Well, that just ties into type 2 diabetes, too. It totally right ties there. in. Yeah, that was the whole topic. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Your next one. If you thought bed bugs were bad. Bed bugs are bad. Nasty. Yes. Name three creatures of the night. Mm-hmm that love to feast on bed bugs and are drawn to eating bed bugs. No way. Which means you don't just have bed bugs. You might have a whole food chain ecosystem in your bed and oh, it may how be exciting. inviting. And I, I did, this is, I do have a link for this. This is off of one of the websites. I want it's that the link. number six. I found a hundred bed bug uh, okay. facts. This is number six. Okay. Name. Actually, this has four species right do here. Mice, do mice eat bed bugs? No, well, they didn't list it on there, no. Okay. Do cockroaches I'm eat bed bugs? Yes, cockroaches is one. Cockroaches all eat arthropods. bed bugs. Oh, they are. All okay. of, yeah, all of the ones I have on my okay. cart are arthropods. So, if you have bed bugs, then you get cockroaches. Cockroaches eat the bed bugs. Okay. Mm, probably, they also probably feed on the. Uh, excrement of the bed bugs. Ew. While you're asleep, by the way. Okay, so cockroaches could cockroaches? also be coming into your bed okay. to eat on them. Okay. Um, what else eats bed bugs? I would say cockroaches. I don't know. What else? Ants. Ants do. Wow, okay. Yeah. So now you're getting ant bit and bed bug bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then spiders. Spiders, really? Yeah, especially okay. those little jumping dudes. Yeah, I imagine that they would like them. Like, yeah, they yeah. hunt them. So bed bugs and spiders in your bed, along with cockroaches. The bed bugs are eat are, are eating you, are eating your skin and biting you. Then along comes a cockroach and they're picking up the bed bugs, and then the spider sees the cockroach, eats the cockroach, and is like, "What were you eating?" And then he starts it just eating the bed bugs. Becomes a whole food chain yeah. effect. Yeah, and then, right uh, while you're asleep. The last one is centipedes. Cin yeah, centipedes. Okay, now you've crossed the line because that, that yeah, I cannot sleep in that bed now. That's what happens. Actually, I couldn't sleep in that bed with the <laughs> bed bugs, first off, but the whole food chain's in there. I mean, if you've got, if it's, if it's bad enough, you got centipede, I mean, if it's bad enough, you got bed bugs, you could have a very serious problem on top of just the bed bugs. Okay, wow. now I'm not saying that that is a guaranteed thing. You could have just brought bed bugs home from a motel from luggage, stay, yeah, luggage, yeah. or something like that. But you are increasing the likelihood that other creatures are going to be attracted to that area. It's just kind of like attracting bears when you bring food into your tent. And maybe that's another reason not to eat while you're in bed is because it attracts all these bears? creatures. Yeah, things that like to eat things. That just sounds gross. All right. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So next question. My next question. That's really gross. That's disturbing. You lost that me with the so centipede disturbing. because I can imagine the bed bug, the cockroach, and the spider, that whole livelihood. But you throw in a centipede and then now I'm in now I'm having nightmares. Isn't okay. that disturbing? That's so yeah. disturbing. Sleeping less than two hours each night or sleeping two hours less each night. Let me rephrase that. Sleeping two hours less each night. So you're not just sleeping two hours, you're sleeping two hours less than your normal uh -huh. eight hours. So six yep. hours ish? Yep. Sleeping two hours less each night blank your mortality rate. So we it's a multiple question. It A doubles, it B triples, or C quadruples your mortality risk. Quadruples. It doubles your quadru your mortality risk. Oh, you're more like yeah. that. That's sad. It doubles your we mortality really need to sleep risk. More. I need to, we need to finish this so I can go home oh, and go to sleep. Only two hours, <laughs> only two hours less of sleep will double your mortality risk. That's crazy. That's a shortening a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I don't That's like where that. we trade our sleep for work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, trade it off. Yeah, make sure that your, your trade offs are worth it. Why are you, why do you have a fourth question? 
I have a fourth card because I just was on a roll. Hey, what distinctive smell do bed bugs give off? Almond. That that's kind of a that would kind of maybe fall into it. Uh, they said some people report that it's comparable to rotting raspberries. Oh, actually, I've heard it's like I've a heard sweet, almond. Yeah. I could see where it would be kind of mm -hmm. like the al the marzipan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll never think of almond soap and marzipan the same it's kind ever of gross. again. It's kind so of it's a sweet smell. Yeah. That's ooh. Yeah. So All if right. your bedroom has a really sweet, distinctive smell, you might have bed bugs. No, if you wake up in the morning and your arm is covered with little bites, you have bed bugs. <laughs> that happened yeah. to me Eesh. in a motel room once, I think. Yeah, you have to be super careful with your luggage. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's scary. You do not want to bring that home. No, nope, because then you have cockroaches, spiders, and centipedes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you thought that was great information, watch the entire episode here. Or subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch a fresh episode of Fishbowl every Saturday.